Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. Do I have to keep saying that? Maybe, I don't know. Hey listen, I wanted to, hey listen, like you're not listening, right? I want to do a, I want to compile, is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, all the dual action polishes, whether they be long throw, 21 millimeters all the way down to 8 millimeters. I want to kind of make one video that discusses the pros and cons to all of them. Maybe help you guys out decide, help you decide what polisher might be best for you based on skill set, how often you're going to use it, are you a professional, are you a car enthusiast. So I have the Torx 22D which is distributed by Chemical Guys but made by the Torx company that is a 21 millimeter throw then we have the Sherhole 3500 which is also a 21 millimeter throw polisher then we jump down to the Griot's G15 which is a 15 millimeter throw it's the Griot's boss system then you'll notice I have a Rupes on the table that is a 12 millimeter throw it's the Duetto LHR 12E I can't remember the number for it, it doesn't matter to me um, but it's a 12 millimeter throw, comes with a 5 inch backing plate. I'll talk about that one here in this video as well. Then we get down to the entry level dual action polishers, the 8 millimeter throw polishers, the Griots and the Harbor Freight. Let me get on the other side of this Jeep hood so I can kind of go through this with you. Folks, if you notice, with the long throw polishers, Rupes is not on the table. I'm sorry, but the Mark 1 or the Mark 2, the 15 millimeter or the 21 millimeter throw polishers, you have to understand this from a professional's point of view. I need a high return on investment or a fast return on investment. I want amazing results with working with it with the daily uh, working with the public. I guess that's the way you can say it, Scott. I wanted to say something else, but I screwed it up. I need something that has a nice return on investment. I don't want to skimp on qual. I don't want to skip on overall ability to be able to give my customers amazing results but the Rupes tool I'm sorry if you're a Rupes lovers you, you might want to exit the 15 millimeter and the 21 millimeter throw polishers by them for over 400 450 dollars I have just come to this point in my professional career that those polishers just don't do me all that well they're they're not a great return on investment so I'm not going to talk about them but I will not argue the fact that they're their Italian fit and finish, their precision uh, engineering of gearing and bearings is amazing with those machines, low vibration. But I'm going to get into why I choose these versus the Rupes, or versus everybody else in that uh, Rupes world. But let me get on the other side of the bench and I'll go over this with you. Are you guys having a good 2018? I know we're what, day five, day six, is it prosperous for you? Are you healthy? Are you loving one another? I want to thank all of you. I've only been on YouTube now for what, going on 10 months, so we've got another couple of months before I'm on YouTube for a year. I am so grateful to all of you. I do not ask you to subscribe. I do not ask you to give me thumbs up, smash the, the, the thumbs up button. I don't ask you to subscribe. I do not leave links down below of any of my videos. Folks, the reason for that. I am grateful for the abundance in my life. I have spent a lot of money over the years on many different polishers. I have a lot of experience with all of these, a lot of hours behind the wheel. I do not need to make money off you. I don't need to talk about one tool versus another hoping you buy it so I get money for it. I do not work for any of these companies. Griots wouldn't pay me, Sherhold wouldn't pay me, Harbor Freight's not going to pay me, but I want to give you the most transparent, honest opinion of these tools on the table here. Again, you do not have to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to smash the thumbs up button. You do not have to leave a comment down below. It's not required. I'm grateful if you do. I'm not trying to make money off of any of you. That is not the point of my channel. Here we go. Let's start with the 21 millimeter throws and we'll work our way down to the 8 millimeter. I'm going to start, no particular order, doesn't mean I like these machines in this order, but I'm going to go over every one of them. The Torx 22D by Torx, which is distributed by Chemical Guys. When I first saw this, I said, oh, it's a Chemical Guys product, I'm not going to like it. But I want to talk about this machine. It's not made by Chemical Guys, they're just the distributor of the machine. This is the Torx 22D polisher. It is a 21 millimeter throw polisher, meaning not only does it spin, but it oscillates and it has a 21 millimeter throw or oscillation to the machine. Really nice, gives you nice fast results when you're trying to remove defects off the paint. It's worth noting, when you buy the Torx 22D, which is somewhere between $280 and $250, it will come with a 6-inch backing plate. I'm not a 6-inch 
backing plate lover. I like smaller pads, more control, less stalling with the machines. That's just my opinion. You do not have to make that your own. But the Torx 22D comes with a 6-inch backing plate. The Torx 22D 6-inch backing plate does not have to be washer mod in any way when you get it. Right out of the box, it's free spinning. It does not hit the shroud. That might be important for you to know. It is well balanced, lightweight. It's about six pounds, somewhere around there. Also worth noting, out of all the long throw polishers I have on the table, it's the skinniest. It kind of went on a diet. Very easy to control. Put your hands around it. That might be important for you. Maybe you got small hands. I don't know. But I like it for that design. It's very easy to control. I feel like I've got all the control, which I want as a paint correction specialist. Now the other thing about this machine, which is very important to note, it has no trigger on it, right? Like a traditional long throw polisher. It just has an on and off button, and it has a digital display with these little buttons. A lot of people discuss Scott Woodson's durability, longevity of that display. I can't answer that question. I've owned it for several months, used it almost daily. It hasn't given up on me. The digital display seems to be working fine. Some have said the digital display or the little buttons are kind of finicky, like your hand will hit it and it will change speeds. I do not see that being the case. You actually have to hit these buttons. You have to purposely hit them for it to go up or down, so I don't see that issue at all but it's lightweight, well balanced, no washer mod needed. I do want to talk about something with the Torx 22D. We talk about oscillations per minute. The Torx 22D, out of all the long throw polishers I've ever used, including the Rupes, has the lowest oscillations per minute even on its highest setting. Some of you might go, Scott, are you saying it doesn't have a lot of power? Well, it has a 900 watt motor. The 900 watt motor seems to be geared appropriately to transfer the power to the face of the pad so it doesn't stall all that much. This will not stall nearly as much as the Rupes. But I want to talk about oscillations per minute. Even on its highest setting, it's not the fastest running machine. Do not let that concern you. If you notice with uh, long throw polishers, with the compounds and polishes we're using, even with the Sherholt, the Rupes, or the Griots, we like to run these machines on speed four and a half or five when we're cutting paint. Even when you have this machine on speed six, the oscillations per minute seem to be the sweet spot for a lot of modern day compounds and polishes. It does not need to have huge high oscillations per minute. I find it's well balanced in that area as far as the compounds and polishes that we're using our modern day compounds and polishes we're using, but I wanted to talk about that. Lowest oscillations per minute versus any machine that I've used. Really nice machine, lightweight, about a year guarantee, $250 to $280. You might get it for less if Chemical Guys has a sale or something like that, but it's really nice. No washer mod needed. Now I want to go to the next long throw polisher, which is the Sherhold 3500. This is a Chinese made. Rupes knockoff, all of them are Rupes knockoffs if we're going to be honest with each other. Rupes came up with the design and a lot of companies have now made their own polishers but followed trend with the long throws because Rupes created that whole philosophy and design. So great, two thumbs up to Rupes for doing that. This is the Sherhold 3500. This also happens to be 21 millimeter throw polisher. It comes with a 6 inch backing plate. I'm not a fan of 6 inch backing plates, I like a smaller backing plate. Why? I have more control of the machine. The machine will stall far less. I can get into tighter areas with it, go over body lines and curves. The bigger pads will actually kind of make you stall a little bit. But I want to talk about the stalling capabilities of the Sherhold 3500 and why it's amazing. Its stalling capabilities is the, the, the this has the less stalling capabilities out of any long throw polisher I have ever used. It is amazing. 900 watt motor, a lot of that power gets transferred to the face of the pad. It's about $162 to $190 depending on where you buy it. Well balanced. It's got a trigger on it which is different than the Torx 22D and it's got a lock button. The adjustment 1 through 6 is right here in the face of the machine. Really easy to get to, very intuitive, easy to see, really nice design. But this machine is the most powerful long throw polisher I have ever come across for $162. I love it. When you buy the long throw polisher by Sherhold, you'll notice the 6 inch backing plate that comes with it. You may want to do a washer mod with it because the backing plate does hit the shroud, just like the Rupes and just like the Griot's machines do. What I found is if I use a Torx 22D 5 inch backing plate, because I like 5 inch backing plates, 
if I put that backing plate on this Surehold, I do not have to have a washer mod on it at all. That's just kind of a side note for some of you guys. But very well balanced, $162, great return on investment. Gives me the same results as the Rupes. It actually makes the job go quicker than using a Rupes because it stalls far less. The, this is just an amazing tool. I love it. I wanted to share that with you. Now we're going to go to the Griot's G15. Both the Torx 22D and the Surehold is a one-year guarantee. We're going to get to the Griot's G15. This is a 15 millimeter throw polisher. This is about $360. The overall quality as far as fit and finish, it's gears, low vibration, quiet motor, great bearings inside the machine. There is no argument it's better quality versus the Surehold and the Torx 22D, but that's not the big picture. The Griot's G15, I like it. It's a 15 millimeter throw polisher, very well designed, well balanced. Got the trigger, got the lock, the dial, the speed dial's right here by your thumb, very intuitive. This machine will stall. This machine likes to stall quite a bit on body lines, curves, even subtle body lines when you're working on a door panel, but it will not stall as much as the Rupes, and because it was less than the Rupes and still a high quality machine, and it had a limited lifetime warranty if you happen to buy from Griot's as the the, the, the direct source of sale, you get a really nice warranty with this machine. I like the machine, comes with a five inch backing plate. Also worth noting, if some of you guys are Rupes lovers and you own the Mark II 15 millimeter, you'll notice Rupes doesn't really want you using a six inch backing plate with the 15 millimeter Mark II. They say it kind of throws it out of balance. The G15 by Griot's, you can use a six inch backing plate with it. They say it doesn't void the warranty, it doesn't interfere with the machine's overall balance and vibration. That might be something that you guys want to know. But really nice machine, well designed, well balanced. It doesn't have, out of the two polishers, the long throws I've talked about, the 900 watt motor does transfer the power relatively well, but it stalls more than these two other machines here. But there you go. Now we're going to go to the 12 millimeter Duetto, the only Rupes tool I will use, and maybe the only Rupes tool I will ever buy again. This is a 12 millimeter Duetto Bigfoot. It's a five inch machine. This machine is great for me as a professional because I do a lot of wet sanding. It's probably one of the best wet sanding dual action polishers I have ever used. Nice, low vibration. Does it stall? Yes, but the fact that it has a 12 millimeter throw, the stalling is far less than the 15 or 21 because we don't have such drag on the surface of the pad on the paint, so you can kind of control the moment a little bit better. It's lightweight, five inch backing plate, well designed. I use this for wet sanding and I only use it for polishing paint, not for paint correction. I'll use it for paint enhancement, maybe an all-in-one polish. Maybe after I've done my first step of a two-step correction and I'm working on really soft Japanese black paint, I want to bring the throw in smaller. I don't want to use a 15, I don't want to use a 21 millimeter. I have found the 12 millimeter throw seems to be the sweet spot for finishing out paint, especially when it's soft black paint. I do want to mention a couple things about this machine or mention one of them that really concerns me. There is an Allen key that Rupes likes to put inside their machines right up here by the head unit. Folks, if you're not a car enthusiast and you're a professional, even if you are a car enthusiast, you want to take this Allen key and get it away from the machine. If you notice when it goes inside the head unit here, there's a little plastic tab that kind of holds this Allen key. The other side of the Allen key is exposed. If you happen to hit it by, by accident when your hand was working, doing some paint correction, and you push the button, you'll notice the Allen key will come out. Now it's just dangling there. Can you imagine how dangerous that could be if you were working on paint and the Allen key fell out like that? Very concerning to me. Rupes, this is a poor design by you. You should not have the Allen key in the head unit. Now guys that just use these once or twice a year, have their little stainless steel shrine on the garage wall, you may not be seeing issues with it. I would still be highly concerned and recommend you take the Allen key out of it. But as a professional, you may be using this Allen key a lot and you'll start to wear out its holder. It will become very loose in the head unit. Be very careful with that. But for $300, one year guarantee, it will stay in my arsenal for polishing paint to high gloss finish or wet sanding. The 12 millimeter throw is very appropriate for that. Now we're gonna get into the eight millimeter throws, right? The entry level dual action polishers. I will talk about the Griot's eight millimeter six inch orbital polisher. 
about $140 for this machine. You can get these on Amazon. You can get them from Griot's. You can get them from AutoZone. Really nice quality machine. The power in the motor seems to transfer very well to the, the face of the pad. Very nice machine. Low vibration for a small machine. Limited lifetime warranty. Nice cord right out of the box. My opinion about these 8mm throws these short, these, we'll call them short throw machines, dual action polishers. I do not like using them with six inch backing plates. And that's not because I'm a five inch pad lover, if you want to look at it that way. I find these machines will get you through the job quicker, meaning they'll remove defects faster off the paint if you use a five inch backing plate. They'll also stall far less. I really think the small entry level eight millimeter throw polishers work incredibly well with a five inch backing plate. That does not mean you can't use them with a six inch backing plate, but you'll notice using a six inch backing plate with a six and a half inch pad, they'll stall quite a bit on body lines and curves. And for a small machine, I kind of think that's kind of a no-no in my opinion as a professional. I'm not scared of clear coat. I've got rotary experience. I understand how it works, but I, like, I would like to see them sell these small polishers with five inch backing plates, but a really nice machine, well designed. You can get amazing results. Can you get the same results with this machine versus these fancy long throws? Yes, you can. Depending on the paint system you're working on, depending on your skill set, the pad you've chosen, also the compound and polish you've chosen. The only thing with these things, it's going to take you a little bit longer to remove the defects off the paint versus the long throws. So the long throws are really helpful for a professional, but car enthusiasts can get amazing results. I keep these tools in my arsenal for all-in-ones, just doing a light polish on a car. They're lightweight, easy to work with, and I love them. They're staying in my arsenal. Now I'm going to go to the Harbor Freight, right? This is the tool a lot of guys go, are you kidding me? $49 to $69 for this tool. Very lightweight. I've actually had this apart many times. Well, not many times, twice. I changed the bearings. I changed the head grease. Why did I do that? Because I can. It took me about 20 minutes. It lessened the vibration a little bit. This tool is going to vibrate a little bit more than your fancier Griot's 8mm tool, but this thing costs about $140. This is $49 to $60, depending if you got a coupon with Harbor Freight. It comes with a 6-inch backing plate made by Warrior. Again, I'm not a fan of that backing plate. I'm also more of a fan of a 5-inch plate, so I'd like to see a 5-inch backing plate sold with the unit. But if you are a 6-inch pad lover, you're going to want to change the backing plate that comes with the machine. It's not all that high quality. But this machine here, whether or not you change the head grease, whether or not you change the bearings, for $49 to $60, you will get the same results as the six inch orbital polisher by Griot's. Yes, it might be a little bit louder, maybe you'll get a little bit more vibration, but great for entry level detailers, car enthusiasts. Maybe you got one car, you're on a tight budget, you don't have $150, you certainly don't have $300 to spend on a machine. You can get great results matched up with a great pad, backing plate and compound and understanding your te te techniques building up your skill set. I get great results with this machine. I can get the same results that I get with the Sure Hole 3500. I'm just not going to do it as fast because the longer throw is actually helping us be able to remove defects off the paint faster. But a great design by Harbor Freight, one of the tools that I will continue to buy. I've owned this for, th for years. I got a five inch backing plate. I also have one with a three inch backing plate to get tight areas around the car, maybe do some headlight restoration. A really great tool for anybody to have in their arsenal, whether you're an enthusiast or a professional. It's so cheap, it's a workhorse. Yes, it vibrates. Maybe it's a little bit too loud for some, but it is a great tool, far better than the Porta Cable, far better than some of these smaller entry level eight millimeter throw polishers. Folks, that's my issue here with all these polishers. These polishers are staying in my arsenal. They have a, a reason to be in my arsenal. They give me a nice return on investment, give me nice results. But I will make a statement right now. Out of all the long throw polishers I've used, including the Rupes, folks, the Surehole 3500 is the winner in the moment. This is an amazing machine for the price high return on investment, has tremendous power, does not stall on body lines and curves nearly as much as any of the polishers I've talked about or even the Rupes, the Mark II. The return on investment is amazing. The fit and finish, I love it. It's a nice, balanced, well, well-designed machine. Yes, Sureholt had a Chinese manufacturer make it for them, but it's absolutely amazing. I love it. And so that's where I stand with the, the, the short throws. Even though the Griot's is higher quality, better warranty, 
Sh the Torx 22D doesn't have a trigger, digital display, a little bit fancier. The Surehole 3500, as of 2018, the beginning of the year, is my best bet for removing defects off the paint. Does it faster than Rupes because it won't stall? Has a lot of power, higher return on investment, has a one-year guarantee just like Rupes does. It is a winner in my world and it's used about 95% of the time if I choose to use a long throw polisher because I've got rotary experience. When we come to the smaller throw machines, what's the best buy? Well, obviously $49, $60 is a best buy if that's the budget you're in. You'll get nice results with it with the Harbor Freight. But there is no argument for $140, the upgrade from the Harbor Freight with the Griot's machine is great. Better warranty, less vibration, high quality machine. I love it, it's staying in my arsenal. And of course the Rupes Duetto, as I mentioned, is the only Rupes machine I will buy again in the future, even if this one fails for its finishing capabilities. Working on really soft black Japanese paint, I really like it, and for wet sanding. Just be careful of the Allen key. Really silly, stupid design by Rupes. No reason for it to be there. Sound, it sounded fun, right? Oh, great, I got a little pouch and cover for this thing. Trust me, if this thing fell on the paint and you didn't notice it, I mean, come on, it's just a, there's no reason for it to be there. Rupes, wake up. You do make high quality machines, but some of your engineering really is, boy, I would have liked to have been on the engineering team when you made these machines. But there you go, there is my cop, uh, bringing all these polishers into one video. I hope this helps you. I love you all, it's 2018, have a prosperous new year. I hope this helps you be able to pick a polisher that's well designed for you, your skill set, your budget. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, I'll try to get to you if you need some more information about these polishers. Folks, I love you all, I'll talk to you soon. Sorry it's a long video, a lot of information to go over. But with these polishers here, they have a right to be in my arsenal. I will use them almost on a daily basis. My Mark II 15 millimeter, my Mark II 21 millimeter, I'm sorry. They really don't have any reason to be in my arsenal. I'm not arguing the fact that they're nice low vibration. That doesn't make me money. Low vibration, but stalls a lot, actually cost me money. Folks, no reason, I have no reason to offend you. If you like your Rupes tool, continue to enjoy your paint correction. I'm sure you're getting amazing results, and we'll talk to you soon. Be good. Love you guys. Oh, now i got to walk all the way over here. No editing. I don't make money off you. No links, but i got to come over here and do this fancy turn the button off.